Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about how to um, reuse constraints or use um, make con uh, an EC set from um, an existing net that we've already scheduled, for example. So in this example, I've got um, an FPGA and, and four memory devices. I want to create a star-based topology. So I want to schedule the net coming from the FPGA to a star point, and then that star point then feeds effectively the four memory devices. And I want to be able to do that once and then copy that and, and apply it to the rest of the other other nets in the in the design so what i would do we'll start off with the logic and net schedule um, i'm going to pick a net now they're, they're all the same here so i'm literally just going to do it we're going to insert a t point um we'll insert a t point and then we'll go effectively to, to memory device one back to the t point so i'm going to make this kind of star point um topology for this specific design once I've got that, um, my rat T point gets generated and I can then go and place that once I've got some vias, etc. Place it on a vias so I can then get some, some good known length locations. But I want to reuse this, this topology now on the rest of the other nets because all these other nets are following that exact same topology. And I don't want to have to schedule that, you know, manually, individually um, for each net. So if I launch Constraint Manager and I look at my wiring, what I'm doing is I'm looking for the, for the user defined. This is the schedule that I've done manually. So I can do a right click here and I can actually do something called create electrical C set. Um, I'm just going to call this uh, DDR underscore star. So I'm going to give it a different uh, name. And then we'll click OK. And that then writes my rule. So um, I'll just clear this. So we'll clear the, the user defined schedule. So if I look at PCB editor now, you'll notice that my, my T point has gone and my, my net has been unscheduled again. If I then go to the rule set, so electrical constraint set routing and look at the wiring, there's my DDR star with my template for the schedule. So I'm going to say let's verify the schedule, which will give me a DRC if I didn't route using that schedule. I'm just going to give a stub length. Um, let's go and add some other rules to this. So we'll give it maybe a, uh, a maximum number of four vias and we'll specify uh, a 50 ohm impedance with a 2% tolerance. That's fine. That's all I need to do. If I then go to the routing section, what can I then do? is I can then apply that to my byte lane. So we'll apply that to the byte lanes because they're using the same and the address and control line. So that's effectively scheduled all of my net. So it's given me the, the template on that. So if I then minimize constraint manager and look in my actual design, you can see that it's generated all of the individual T points for me. It's copied that schedule to all these nets um, so I can reuse stuff um, and, and save me having to um, manually do all of this and save me a lot of time when I'm setting constraints on a design.